pre-map chart in Excel. How can we use it and why it's important to use this tree map chart in Excel? Basically, a tree map chart in Excel can help us to display, to show hierarchical values. So here, for example, I have this large rectangles right here, the orange one, the blue one, the gray one, and the yellow one. And in each one of these rectangles that I have here, within these rectangles, I have some tiles. And each one of these tiles have a value. So basically, we have our rectangle that corresponds to a category. And within the rectangle, we have the styles, these small rectangles, these small squares that represents our subcategory. So if you have a data set, a table where you have a category and subcategory, you of course can use a tree map chart in Excel to help you out. And one interesting here, the size of the tile, the size of the rectangle responds to its value. So the largest you have the rectangle size, the largest the value is. So it's match the size with the value in the rectangle itself. My first category I have the vitamins and then the blue one is protein powder and then it's minerals and then drinks. Each one of these categories have their subcategories, for example. And as you guys can see, each one of the rectangles have their own size and each one of the tiles have their own size too. So it's a good chart because it's easy to analyze, let's say, which category just sold the most which category just didn't sold the well, or to be more specific, which one of the products just sold the most, which of the products the, doesn't sold the well. I can see here the, the vitamins is just the category that sold the most because the vitamin category is within the largest rectangle that I have here. And I also can see that the drinks category is the category that didn't sold that well because it's in the smallest rectangle that I have here. But despite of that, for example, I can see that the soda item that I have here, that is a subcategory of the category drinks, sold more than the vitamin C, for example, that I have here in the vitamin category. That is the category that's just sold the most. So I can do both here. I can compare each one of the categories against each other and I also can compare subcategories against each other. So it's an excellent chart to use. Let's see here how can we use it with a practical example. So basically you need to have a data set with this following information. The first column you need to have the category and then in the next column you need to have the subcategory and then the values. Here in this example I have here a bunch of health and fitness products, let's say the way. In this first column right here, the first category, I have protein powder, I have vitamins, I have minerals and so on and so on. And let's say here, in this first category, for just one category, I have a bunch of subcategories. Like, for example, protein powder, chocolates, protein powder, vanilla, protein powder, cooks and cream, and so on, so on. And for each one of the subcategories, I have a value. And the value that is going to be responsible to the size of the tile and the sum of all the values that make up category, it's going to be responsible to the large rectangle size. Okay, so if you take all your subcategory and add it up all these values, you're going to have the large rectangle. And within the large rectangle, of course, we have each one of the subcategories with their values. The first thing that we need to do here to create this tree map chart is to select the entire data set. And then I can click here, insert, and then to the right, I can select this chart right here, insert hierarchy chart, click here, and then tree map. I can select it, and we done, basically. Our chart is here, I'll add in the screen. Let me just move up a little, like this. I'm gonna click here in the circle, just increase the size a little bit, like this, for example. And with the chart selected, one thing that I can do is click here in the Home tab, and then increase a little bit the size of the text for, for example 14 i think it's good and one more thing that i can do here is click here in the title and read it off and delete it let me make the font a little bit smaller so home then 12 11 for example i think it's good and yeah we basically done but we can still make some changes to make the tree map chart a little bit better because the benefit to have a chart in excel is you can use the chart instead of using the data set the table for example so the only information that is missing here in the chart is the values if you pay attention here in the data set we have the last column with the values but here in the chart I don't have the values yet of course if I just let the mouse here for example over a tile I can see this message but it's showing in both the subcategory and also here the value but I want to display here this value in each one of the styles that I have. That way I'm going to have more preciseness in my analysis. So let me just click here in the chart and then I can go to the chart design. I can click add chart element, data labels, and then I'm going to click here more data label options. That way instead of just display here, let's say the category name, I can also select here the values like this, for example. And let's say instead of using the subcategory, comma, the value, I want to just put the value just underneath the subcategory. That way, instead of using the separator like comma, I want to use new line. Okay, now we can close it. Now we can either compare each one of the categories, each one of the subcategories, by of course the size of the rectangle, 
by the size of a tile or of course by the value itself that is within a tile for example a square and one more interesting fact in here the largest category that you have is always going to appear here in the first column in the first position it's going to be sorted in that way so the largest to the smallest one for example if i take here the drinks this, the drinks are my smallest category that I have. So if I added up all these tiles here, all these subcategories that I have here, all these products, they are going to be smaller than the minerals or the protein powder or even the vitamins, okay? But for example, drinks, let's say here I have the drinks categories. So we're going to just change some numbers here. So let's say I'm going to put in here 50,000, for example, and I'm going to press enter. And as you guys can see, the yellow rectangle now is just the first color, the first category that I have here because the tree map chart in Excel always going to sort for you automatically by the total a month. So it's just one more benefit to use the tree map chart in Excel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions and suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below. And I hope this chart can help you out into your analysis or into your dashboards, presentations, reports. Okay, catch you in the next one.